Have you ever pondered over the intricate mechanisms that power our modern aircrafts? Specifically, have you ever wondered about the differences and similarities between a turbofan engine and a turboprop engine? Well, let's dive into that. Turbofan engines, the most commonly used engines in commercial aviation, are renowned for their efficiency at high altitudes and speeds. They function by sucking in air, compressing it, mixing it with fuel, and igniting the mixture to produce thrust. On the other hand, turboprop engines are aircraft engines that use a gas turbine to drive a propeller. They are best suited for lower speeds and altitudes, making them the preferred choice for regional and short-haul flights. Both of these engines are types of gas turbine engines, integral to aircraft propulsion. Each of them, however, carries unique features and applications, stemming from their distinct design and operational characteristics. While both engines are used in aviation, their applications differ significantly due to their unique design and functional features. Now, we delve into the fascinating world of these engines, exploring their differences and similarities. At first glance, turbofan and turboprop engines may appear somewhat similar. After all, they both operate on the basic principle of jet propulsion and share components such as a compressor, combustion chamber, turbine and exhaust. Yet, their design and efficiency vary greatly, leading to significant differences. Let's start with design. Turbofan engines use large fans at the front of the engine to draw air in, a portion of which bypasses the combustion chamber, providing additional thrust. On the other hand, turboprop engines employ a propeller, which is driven by the turbine to generate thrust. When we talk about efficiency, turbofan engines excel at high speeds and altitudes. They are designed for cruising at a high speed over long distances, making them ideal for commercial jets. On the flip side, turboprops shine when operating at lower speeds and altitudes. They're perfect for regional and short-haul flights, where their efficiency can truly be put to good use. As for noise levels, turboprops generally produce more noise due to the propeller's interaction with the air, making them louder than their turbofan counterparts. And lastly, speed. Turbofan engines, with their high speed capabilities, are the go-to for most commercial aviation, while turboprops, with their lower speed capabilities, find their niche in regional and general aviation. As we can see, the differences between these two engines are primarily due to their design and efficiency at different speeds and altitudes. To wrap up our exploration of turbofan and turboprop engines, let's summarize. Turbofan engines excel at high speeds and altitudes, while turboprops shine at lower speeds and altitudes. Despite these differences, they share the basic principles of jet propulsion. Both engines use an internal combustion system to compress air, ignite fuel, and expel hot gases, creating thrust. In essence, while turbofan and turboprop engines share the basic principles of jet propulsion, their design and efficiency variations make them suitable for different aviation applications.